¿Qué pasa, mi gente? What's up, guys? This is Jay Silverthank Gaming. Today, I'm going to try to stay calm. Let me take a deep breath while I can. <sighs> okay, that felt good. So I may have one of those angry little rants, and it may turn into the RGT rant. Who knows? I don't know what it's going to be. I'm just going to shoot this video and go at it. So I want to talk about the Nintendo Switch and YouTubers, which thank God I am not a Switch YouTuber, because if I was, I'd have to hype up that system, right? It just turned four years old, guys, and they try to hype it up, but there's not much to hype the system up. I mean, it's been cool for what it is. I see it more as a companion system, but I don't know, man. I'm going to tell you my experiences. When I first got the Switch, it was awesome. When I played Breath of the Wild, it was like, damn, that game was good. Then the Ultra Street Fighter 2, Doom came out a little bit after that. Or unless it was a launch game, I don't remember. But I know I got Doom pretty early. And I was like, man, this system's pretty good. I want to play all games on this system. So then I got WWE 2K18. That's when reality hit. I learned the limitations of the Switch. Either they had to be optimized or the Switch was just too weak. It's just... Games started being like that. I got Rhyme after that, and it's just like, uh, that's when I started realizing a lot of YouTubers bullshit, man. They won't talk bad about it. Like, in the four years that came out, I don't see anyone putting out a real video. Like, yeah, the Switch is cool. It's all right, you know, but I think there's a lot of things Nintendo hasn't listened to people. They don't give a fuck. Major things like the Joy-Cons, man. Like, <laughs> they're not going to fix that shit. They put them in the Switch light. Like, really, like, it's just like... There's a lot of things people have asked for. I mean, customizations of folders. Like, come on. Like, people are asking for shit. Nobody wanted the Nintendo online service. It's peer-to-peer -peer and you pay for it. Like, oh, you get a couple of games that are drip-fed to you. Like, slow, man. Like, it's crazy. Like, all these complaints we have. Like, I really thought when the system came out that we were going to have GameCube games, you know, because of Nintendo YouTubers pumping that up. They pumped up this system so much, and that's what they do. That's why I'm so happy that I don't just focus on Switch content, because then I would have to lie to you guys just for content, and that's not something I would do, so fuck that. I'm not going to lie and try to... Dude, that shit comes off as fake, so that's when I started noticing other YouTubers doing this, especially in the Nintendo Switch scene, and especially people like uh, RGT and Dreamcast Guy. Even though Dreamcast Guy talks about other things, I started noticing a lot of shit, so that's kind of where my channel kind of started focusing around. I'm like, dude, man, these dudes are like lying to people. Like these dudes are not good people. I, I don't know. I guess they have to make content, right? And whatever you got to do, make content, I guess. Maybe I'm hating. I don't know, but I'd rather people tell the truth <laughs> or at least kind of be honest with opinions. I don't know. But anyways, um, one thing that I noticed with the Switch scene, which is kind of where I'm going to segue to the main point of the video, is, you know, Spawn Wave puts on his podcast. He has some people on there. You know, mostly the Switch channels that are connected in his little group, RGT85. You know, there's Dreamcast Guy. There's a couple of people on there. But, you know, not too long ago, well, it's been a while now, Nate the Hate started showing up. And in my opinion, this is just my opinion. I don't know Nate the Hate. I'm not throwing any hate at him. But I think he kind of changed up the way people would think in there. They're all like, they just want any kind of news to run with it. They don't care if it's fake or not. Like RGT just a while, while back, you know, started talking about the Nintendo Switch was confirmed by Nintendo. They get Nate to, I don't know, I guess Nate gets all this information supposedly. And they just start spreading it like it's truth. They spread rumors. And I don't remember these YouTubers really being like that. Like anyone from the, I mean, probably, you know, they talked about rumors, but they spread them like real news. Like right now, like just recently I saw, you know, even Spawn Waves keeps talking about the rumors. And I'm like... Dude, like, just let it be, man. Like, call it a rumor, but just the way they bring it out like it's real. And that's where I have a fucking issue. And it's going to be with RGT85. All right, so RGT85 recently started talking about the rumor Nintendo Switch Pro. Can we just get it out there? It's not going to be called the Nintendo Switch Pro, just like the Nintendo Switch Lite wasn't called the Switch Mini. Nintendo's going to be playing, and they're going to call it, like, the Switch XL or the new Nintendo Switch. Stop with that fucking pro shit. So Nick, I mean, what's his name? Nate the Hate, Nate the Drake, whatever the fuck his name is. You know, he puts out all these rumors. He's even done it on the Spawncast many times. I think, if I correct me if I'm wrong, but I swear he brought up some hype of, possibi of a possibility of the Xbox Game Pass coming to Switch, right? Like, to the same shit a while, a while back. In fact, I should have made a fucking video calling out these motherfuckers, and I didn't. They were getting people hyped up for fucking Halo coming to Switch. Like, really, do you guys really think the Master Chief Collection, it's possible we'll get the campaigns on there. 
It really is. But people are getting complaining about how big the file size is. Imagine online on that shitty ass fucking network that Nintendo has. It's just like, uh, I don't know, man. It's just this hype that comes, I feel like my opinion that comes from Nate, the hate. He's just changed that whole fucking group. I don't know. And RGT's always fucked up, right? He's always fucked up, and he fucked up that one time, and I called him out, and everyone called him out, not because of my video. People were just calling him out because he was confirming for Nintendo in his video, right? And I said, well, maybe you should just, you know, label it as a question, put a question mark or whatever. And that's the thing. He clickbaits like a motherfucker for fucking views. It is so fucking slow in the gaming community right now. They'll make any kinds of videos. In fact, this weekend... You know, John made a video, I think, on 3DS, but fucking RGT came out of the woodworks and made a retro video on the DS. A couple of, you know, top 20 DS games to play in 2021, something like that. I was all like, come on. Like, like, oh, man. So this is what pissed me off. All right. So we all know about the Nintendo Switch Pro fucking rumor, right? That from Bloomberg and all this and all these Switch people are hyping it up. Let me just, before I go off on this, it's mainly I'm going to focus around the fucking thumbnails. And that's what pissed me off is fucking leading Switch fans. The way you guys led them all excited thinking, oh, the possibility of Halo coming to a new system. Is it the Nintendo Switch? Even RGT clickbaited that shit. And that's a fucking enough. Like, I was going to talk about that, but I let it fucking slide. I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. But this one went way too far. In his video about the Nintendo Switch Pro rumor, he labels it, the Nintendo Switch Pro is real and coming in 2021, OLED and 4K. Like really dude, you put a question mark, but you still have the exclamation mark, it's not labeled as a question. It is 100% clickbait, especially with the real. Like dude, you're, you're putting that out as a statement and that's the shit I can't stand is these Nintendo YouTubers We'll pump this shit up just to fucking put out content. And it's just real annoying when the audience, the people who listen to them, believe them, and they get pumped up too, and then they get let down. Like, dude, chill the fuck out. We all know a new system's coming. We know. But it's real. Do you really fucking know? You're going to go with that Bloomberg uh, fucking rumor and report it as fact? You're going to, like, just label it as a... It's not a question. It's a statement the way you wrote it. You're not opposing a fucking question in there. You can't, yeah, maybe put in a question mark. He's asking a question. No, he's fucking not. I already know how RGT operates. It's just fucking clickbait. And that, I was like, dude, just stop with that. And you listen to the video. He really thinks it's real. Like, like, I know a lot of people do. A lot of people think that rumor is fucking real. There's a possibility of it being real. Yes, there is. But I wouldn't go on there how big a channel he is and just kind of promote it as fucking being real. Fuck it. You know, like he could even label it like, oh, it's a rumor and this and that on the fucking title. Oh, dude, that's the shit that fucking pisses me off. So then the next thing is there's a possibility that the Switch Pro may have exclusive games. That is the stupidest thing because a Nate the Hate has some inside information. Let's just say there is a couple exclusive games, whatever. It was with the new 3DS too, right? Like, okay. Do you think a major fucking game like Breath of the Wild 2 will be exclusive to the Nintendo Switch Pro? Fuck no, that's a huge game. You know how many fucking Nintendo fans would be pissed off? They're fucking ready pissed off when there's like no direct, like it doesn't feed them what they want. Like each direct they get mad, right? They're going to get real mad and they have every right to. Nintendo has a market of 80 million people. You think they're, I mean, 80 million units, right? Out there. You think they're going to fucking really release that game exclusive to the pro? That's so fucking stupid. It's not going to happen. It's not. Like, no way. They may have a version for that, but they're not going to make that game exclusive. So in RGT's latest thumbnail, he on this information he got from Nate, he put, only on Switch Pro? Question mark. The title is, the Nintendo Switch Pro will have exclusive games. He doesn't pose a question. It will have. He puts the question mark in there just to fucking stop people from talking shit. But we all know what he's really fucking doing. Even Max, Dreamcast guy, labeled his fucking thumbnail better. New leak. Nintendo Switch Pro might have exclusive games. When Dreamcast guy can do it better, dude, that's fucking bad. I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking annoying. I don't know, but guys... That's the shit that fucking pisses me off about fucking RGT85. That's the shit that, like, people fucking eat that shit up, and they don't fucking question him, man. He could fucking put that out as news, and no one gives a fuck. And that's just how I look at these YouTubers. Like, really? Like, you are the guys presenting the fucking news for fucking, like, 
Nintendo, I don't know. I can't take Nintendo seriously. So I don't know. Lately, I have not been so much of a fan of Nintendo. I'm kind of just like slowly drifting away. I mean, I still like some of the shit. Some of the games are tight, but it's like, ah. And then these YouTubers, dude, the way they just keep reporting on fucking rumors. Like, dude, is that the direction that shit is going? That you guys are going to just report on rumors and... And that's what we have to listen to. Like, I don't know, guys. Anyways, that's just my two cents. It really wasn't a rat too bad. I didn't go too bad. I thought it was going to go off. If you guys caught my live stream, I went off on Nintendo, man. I like went crazy. <laughs> I thought that it was going to be like this. But you know what? It doesn't bother me as much as like fucking Nintendo being anti-consumer. Oh, shit. Did I say that? But I, it bothers me enough where I just wanted to make a video and see if anyone else out there feels the same. Have these rumors been too fucking much? Are you guys fucking sick and tired of these rumors? And has anyone else noticed? Is it just me? Or did a lot of these uh, reporting on rumors, which reporting rumors has always been there, but have they been focused so heavy since Nate the hate? I'm hating. Yes, I am. Started joining the Spawncast and getting real close to these guys. I don't know. That, these are just my opinions. I know some people are going to get butt hurt because, you know, I'm talking about Nintendo and I'm, I'm expressing my opinions. And I don't know. It is what it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll be catching you guys soon. Peace out.